Hi everybody, it's Amanda back with Amanda Rose Tarot and we're here today to do another pick a card reading. Um, so the question today is going to be um, what are my guides trying to tell me? So this can be in um, you know many areas of your life. Uh, I did pick a romance angel card so we may have some romance in there. Um, I also picked the witch's wisdom oracle. Um, I chose a lot of oracle cards. Um, we've got the Trust Your Vibe Oracle, um, we've got the Ancestors and Angels, and we've got the Tattoo Tarot. So we're going to be asking, you know, for our guides to come and to help us um, with some of the questions that we may be um, having in our lives right now. So um, I was just drawn towards doing this reading and um, I felt like using a lot of oracle cards because they feel like they have um, a lot of guidance in them so that's what I chose so um, first I want to thank all my subscribers out there I really appreciate you guys um, helping my channel to grow and uh, I'm almost 2,000 subscribers getting there slowly but surely so um, thanks again to all you that subscribe to my channel the crystals that we are using today, um, the first is going to be the clear quartz, the second is the crystal ball, and the third is the green stone, the moldavite. So I'm just going to give you a minute to think on your stone and what you're drawn towards, and then we will begin the readings. Okay, so Okay, so we're going to start with the quartz. Okay. So in the Romance Angels, you guys got unrequited love. You got embolic, which the keyword is awakening. You got get grounded. You got scar stargazer, set your sights higher and eight of wands okay so first um let's go over the eight of wands card so the eight of wands it's about progress um breakthroughs events moving quickly um on the thresh threshold of something new happening um it could be promises of proposal or um you know some kind of desire for something um you know it, it's action some sort of action is going to be happening and things are going to start moving quickly for you so this is a message from your guides that um think there's going to be progress there's going to be things happening action um that's coming in for you the next card that we'll go over is the stargazer it says set your sights higher so the stargazer, um, this is telling you to go beyond your limitations and belief that the impossible isn't possible um, because, you know, people used to wish on a star more, people used to be outside more, and, you know, um, a lot of people did believe that you could actually wish on a star, um, but this is saying that, you know, Go ahead and try it. It could come true. Um, connect with the the universe now. Um, you're you're very close to um, the energy of the earth. It also says with this card, um, and you could also be on the verge of a miracle. So your your dreams coming true. You've wished upon the star, and you know your dreams are within grasp now so it's saying focus on your vision what you really want and nothing is beyond your limitations um, the angels are encouraging you and they want you to know that you do deserve blessings coming your way and that you know your dreams your visions your goals they can come true is what this card is saying and with the eight of wands you know that action could be happening um fast you know it could be um very soon that something new happens um some sort of breakthrough 
The next card that we'll go over is the Get Grounded card. So the Get Grounded card, um, you know, it's telling you that you have this connection with Mother Earth and you need to tune into um, your highest intuitive potential. So, you know, to do that, you need to go outside. Um, remember that, you know, you're alive and you're supported by Mother Earth. So, you know, the air is here to breathe, to heal you, to calm you, to, you know, empower you and get you on your highest, you know, your potential that you can be. So, you know, those higher vibes, those higher vibrations, um, you know, you are within reach of those. You are, you know, you're being supported by Mother Earth. And so just remember that, you know, to get outside, to, you know, just take a break, whether it's 10, 15 minutes, get outside, breathe the fresh air. Um, it's really going to calm you, it's going to heal you, and it's going to empower you and get you in those higher vibrations, you know, be in a solid connection with Mother Earth. So, um, very important message from your guides. Um, let's go over the Witch's Wisdom. So this card says Awakening. I don't know if you can see this. Um, it's got these really pretty wildflowers here and then there's two um, lambs in the back that are kind of cuddled up to each other and then there's a pathway towards, um, you know, the sun. So with this card it's telling you um, there is going to be new growth, there's going to be awakenings, um, you know, to new opportunities, um, things that you really, um, you know, you weren't in, in the higher vibration for, and now you're going to notice, you know, synchronicities happening, um, such as, you know, chance meetings with people or animals crossing your path or seeing, you know, repetitive numbers. Um, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna start seeing things, feeling things happening for you. Um, and you're also gonna see new doorways opening and what no longer serves you is really gonna fall away naturally. Um, you're gonna become truly alive and wakened and you're, you know, this is really a wake up call. This is telling you, you know, that... Um, notice those synchronicities that are happening around you. You know, they may seem like coincidences. You know, you run into someone um, that you haven't seen or um, you see something on TV that reminds you of something else or you're seeing these repetitive numbers, 1111 or, you know, anything like that. These are signs that you're awakening and you're growing. And, you know, with these cards, I see that um, the stargazer also is saying the same thing. It's saying you're connected with the other side. You know, there, you're on the verge of a miracle, dreams coming true. Um, you know, just really good things happening for you. Lots of action and, you know, awakening um, to, you know, a higher vibration. And then the final card that you got, um, not my favorite card, uh, obvious for obvious reasons um, so the card of unrequited love it says there is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going so you know the romance angels want to tell you that the person that you're thinking about um, you know they have many qualities that you find attractive however there's you know there's something missing there's not enough attraction to keep that passion really alive um, it could be more of like a cat and mouse chase like one person continues to um, disappear or run away or, or is non community you know communicative um, you may you know actually share this genu genuine love for this per person which may you know make it so it's possible to have a long-term relationship you know it's a possibility but it's saying that you really deserve a relationship where there's mutual appreciation 
there's mutual respect, there's mutual attraction, really not one person feeling like they're giving more than the other person, that, you know, one person is taking, 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 and the other person is giving, giving, giving. It really needs to be balanced, and if you feel, you know, that whoever this person is, the unrequited love, you know, if you feel that something was out of balance, I feel like with these other cards here, um, you're going to realize that, you know, that needs to fall away. And, you know, it, I feel like it's going to, it's not serving you and it's going to fall away naturally, um, is what the awakening card says. The awakening card says, um, you know, that, whatever's not serving you it, it's it's really it's just gonna fall away um you know everything that you're happen that's happening is natural and you know it, it's your path to truly being alive it's kind of a wake-up call um so maybe you know you already had the feeling that this person you know it really wasn't equal um you know, you, maybe you still have this great love for each other, but it's just, it's not, you know, there's not that passion to keep the relationship alive for um, a long period of time. So sometimes, you know, we already know these things. It's, you know, an ex or something. And, um, you know, we just, we just know they're not good for us, but yet we still go back. We know that it's, you know, out of balance that, you know, maybe you're giving way more than the other person, but you know, the guides are trying to also tell you that, um, you know, that's not serving you and you deserve, you know, mutual attraction, mutual respect and someone that really wants to, um, you know, show you that, they love you like this 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 knight is kissing this woman's hand like you know you need someone to show you to get down on their knee and you know just show you that they really adore you and you know they would do anything for you and you know if you don't feel that way about a person then you know it, it's you may be you may love that person, you may actually love that person but the passion you know whatever you did have it's it's you know it's not there anymore and you know you may be able to have a long-term relationship but you're gonna have to deal with the fact that it's not balanced and it's not equal and you know that may cause a lot of resentment so um you know the the guides just want you to know that is what I feel with these cards so um a good message actually you know we can't say anything to the spirits like and the guides like oh well don't say that you know they're gonna say what they want to say and you know I don't think it's a bad message all right so let's move on to number two if you pick the crystal ball let's look at your cards okay in the romance angels you got let your friends help you in the witch's wisdom you got hex and the keyword is banishment. Um, the next card that you got is the Three of Wands in the Tattoo Tarot. Next card that you got is the Star Ancestor. And it says, follow the voice of your soul. The next card that you got is Ask Your Spirit Helpers. All right. So let's see. Um, first, let's go over the Three of Wands in the tattoo tarot. So the three of wands, it's about strength in numbers, um, cooperating to create success. Um, it's a busy time, it's being on the go, you know, establish, establishing strength, um, troubles ending, um, you know, like a ceasefire, um, your ships are, are finally coming in and it, it's, it's also trying a new way to communicate, um, finding new ways to solve your problems and to really get your point across. So, you know, this is definitely a good card. It's about cooperation, um, strength in numbers, um, you know, getting, getting stronger and establish, establishing yourself, um, ending your troubles, um, 
and actually getting su success. So um, being creative, um, just showing attitudes that really get the job done and um, people, you know, respecting you for that. So very good card. Um, let's go over the star ancestor. Follow the voice of your soul. Okay, the star ancestor. So the star ancestor, um, there's a message directly coming in from your soul. Um, so listen to the messages that are coming in to you. Um, the star ancestor, um, he, he really... He's dedicated to healing and growth of the world, and he's the embodiment of love. He brings wisdom from the higher realm, um, and, and just know that you have support from this star ancestor. Um, you know, they they want to connect with your soul and, and have you realize what your soul's purpose is. You're in this body, you're on this human journey, um, so... You're awakening. You're you're continuing to awaken to um, your guides, and you know they want you to follow them and know that you were born for a purpose here. They're willing to help you um, to connect and to you know heal and grow and um, you know just just listen to the messages that are coming in from your soul. You do have a soul purpose you're here you know you're a human and you're here for a reason and you have this journey that you're meant to go on so maybe you've already started on your purpose of being here or maybe you're just realizing that but we were all born with a purpose and the star ancestor wants you to realize that so um you do have support from the other side and um you know, they want you to do what you are meant to do here in this life. Okay, the next card. Um, let's go over Ask Your Spirits. Your Spirit Helpers is what it actually says. Ask Your Spirit Helpers. Um, you know, your Spirit Helpers are the guides, the higher beings that they're on the other side and they're helping you to address these challenges that you're facing. Um, they're ready and able to help you. Um, you know, they want you to achieve your goals. They're going to be gentle with you um, to connect with your, your guides or your spirits. Um, sometimes just taking a walk or relaxing with a cup of tea. Um, and, and this will help you open up to your guides and what they want you to know. Um, they love you, obviously, and they want to help you. So these are your guides, your ancestors, um, just the other side. They really, they want to help you. They know that, you know, you have these things you're going through, these challenges, and they're there to help you as you go through them and as you face them and they're just going to gently help you and guide you um, in the right direction so um, I really like those two cards together the stargazer and the, the spirit helper this is a lot of messages from the guides just telling you that you know um, they're there for you they love you and they're you know they want you to be on the right path and you know they're dedicated to you healing you helping you gain wisdom and you know um, achieving these goals in your life that you know you're meant to um the next card that we got not my favorite card um it's the hex card and it's about banishment so the witch's wisdom is saying um Someone could be, um, you know, draining your energy. Someone that's around you is taking your energy and draining it by their negative attitudes, their negative behaviors. Um, they could be jealous of you, um, envious of you. And, you know, this is a time to walk away from this person. Um, maybe you've just felt totally drained lately, um, like, you know, 
someone has sucked the life force out of you. So, you know, look deeply at situations that you're in. Don't take things at face value. Tread carefully and watch for enemies because we do have people around us that don't wish the best for us. They're jealous of us. They're envious of us. And, you know, you can't take those people for face value. So it's saying choose your friends wisely um, and send away the others, you know, forbid them from coming you know, over your doorstep, eliminate them from your life and just banish them. You know, if you want to do a spell, um, be very careful, but it's saying, you know, whatever's not serving you, whatever's draining your energy, um, you, it's time to walk away from it. It's time to send it away, drive it away, forbid it, abolish it. However you want to say it, it's, it's time to do that. And the last card that you got is let your friends help. It says ask for and accept support from others. So the romance angels want to help you. Um, they're going to send assistance via people around you. Um, you know, people that will give you advice, they'll offer support, or even, you know, they could be a potential partner that's going to help you. Um, so, you know, this person could be a friend, but also a potential partner. Um, you know, don't be afraid to discuss your feelings with them, your hopes, your dreams. Um, spend quality time with friends is the, what this card is also saying. It's going to you know, revive your spirit. It's going to renew your enthusiasm um, by having these fun outings with your friends. So even, you know, while you're out with your friends, you know, maybe you could be introduced to a potential partner. So maybe your friends know someone that would be perfect for you. And, you know, that's another way um, that your friends can help you. So just remember to be open to talking with people, discussing your feelings, um, and someone that you can trust, you know, that you know is there um, for you. They, you know, they're going to listen to you. They want to help you. And, um, you know, it's going to make you feel better. It's going to revive your spirit and, you know, just make you feel better uh, about what you're doing. Because it's always good to get someone else's some fresh input on a situation. So what are your guides trying to tell you? They're telling you that um, you're doing really good, you know, as far as cooperating with others. You could be really busy right now, but um, you know, your ships are coming in. You, you do have um, the right attitudes right now to solve your problems. Um, you, you really have a lot of help on the other side. Um, your guides are there, you know, they love you and they, they want to help you through any challenges that you're having. Um, and really follow your, the voice of your soul, you know, your soul's purpose while you're on this human journey. Um, you know, just your awakening to that as well. Um, and, you know, to banish things that don't serve you, negative people, negative, negative behaviors um, that have made you feel drained, um, it's time to, you know, get rid of those, you know, those vampires that are sucking all your life force out of you, um, just send them away. So that is the message if you pick number two. And let's move on to the final one, the Moldavite. Let's see your message from your guides. Okay, in the Romance Angels, you got Release Your Ex. In the um, Witch's Wisdom, you got Water, and the keyword is Cleansing. Um, in the Trust Your Vibes, you got Mentors and Role Models. In the Ancestors and um, Angels, you got the Fire Guardian. It says Ignite Your Passions. And in the Tattoo Tarot, you got the Five of Coins. Okay, so the first card, um, 
we'll go over the five of coins. So the five of coins, um, it can be about loss, um, fear of poverty, maybe isolating yourself, um, a risk of losing a job or a relationship, distance, dis, distancing yourself from others due to self-doubt or feeling, um, you know, sad or alone about a relationship that's ended. Um, but you do need to know that you have support. Maybe you're just not looking in the right places. Um, you feel rejected or, you know, you're just looking to the wrong people. So it's saying go beyond your usual network of, of friends or people. And you're going to find someone that's going to help you. They're going to comfort you. You know, you could be feeling rejected or maybe you're isolating yourself right now. Um... You know, maybe you're scared, you have a lot of doubts, and you're just feeling sad. Um, but this is saying, you know, you need to get out there. You're looking in the wrong places. There are people that want to help and comfort you. Okay. And the fire guardian, ignite your passion. So connect with your desires. Um, you know, that could really lead to something beautiful. The fire guardian wants to help us awaken to a wilder side of ourselves and, um, you know, burn away any fear or shame that stand between you and your desires. So this card is reminding you, um, you know, passion is very powerful and it's encouraged by spirit. They think, they... sorry, you guys, my phone died. Um, so... You know, the fire guardian wants you to um, know that um, it's okay, you know, to have these sexual connections. Um, you know, it's okay to have this desire. They want you to seek, you know, great joy in your life and what brings you passion and, um, you know, romance in your life. Revive that passion. Um, it doesn't have to be towards a person. That's what I'm feeling here, though. Um, it could be a hobby, you know, or something like that. But I feel like um, they really want you to um, not have any fear or shame about having passion towards something or someone. Um, it's really, you know, they, they want you to be happy. They want your heart to um, sing with joy. And that's what passion can can do for you so um that's what i'm feeling with that card i may not feel the same next time i read it but that happens okay so let's go over the water card so water is about cleansing um so this could also be a water sign i mean we don't really have um i wasn't really gonna do signs but um you know, water wants to help you to clean up your act, so to speak, you know, have any negative thoughts or doubts or worries or, um, you know, fear or shame been polluting your mind. Maybe they're drowning you um, or your, your brain feels like it's drowning with all these negative thoughts. So water, you know, is sensitive. Um, it, it wants you to tap into that, tap into... Um, the feeling of soothing and, um, you know, healing, because that's what water can do for us. Um, water also, um, it uncovers your natural psychic abilities. So just realize that your psychic abilities are going to be heightened. Um, this could be a sign, drink more water, spend time by the sea, um, or just stop fighting against the natural flow, you know, the flow of things. So water wants to help you, you know, release any negativities, heal, you know, um, tap into your sensitivity. Um, that's what I'm getting from that. And then you've got mentors and role models. So, you know, there are people around you that, you know, maybe aren't good for you. Um, there, there could be people that are negative and, 
you know, drag you down and, and, and just put you in a bad place. But what you need is people around you that, um, you know, really have an enthusiasm for life and it's infectious. Maybe um, it's a person that can make you laugh or maybe, you know, you can laugh. It, they just make you laugh out loud. Um, maybe you can feel like their aura. It feels like they have like a sparkling aura. Um, or maybe, the, you know, they just listen to you. You can tell that they're listening to you and connecting with you when you talk. Um, you know, just follow your heart and trust your feelings. There are people around you that you, you should be drawn towards. Um, you know, just trust your vibes and know, um, which people, you know, you should have in your life. Um. I think I want to read that one because I think there's more of a message here than I'm saying. Okay, let me just find it for you guys. Okay, let me read this. If you've heard that being intuitive is a spe special gift only for a few select, then you've been misinformed. Once you start paying attention to your vibes, you'll see that there are creative, artful, six sensory people around you, and they look normal except for one thing, they shine. If you hesitate to step out of the closet as a six sensory person, look for these mentors to inspire you to navigate the psychic highway with more confidence and ease. Seek out people who demonstrate that being six sensory can indeed be graceful, creative, supportive, and fun. Role models for intuitive living are not that hard to find. They're the people who are ethical, human, human, humanitarians, and spontaneous. Their auras sparkle, they laugh out loud, their enthusiasm is infectious, they listen, follow their heart, trust their feelings, speak their truth and act on instincts without hesitation and they encourage you to do the same ask them what their secret is and inevitably they will say i trust my vibes so this is a message from your guides telling you um you know trust your vibes know who um you know what type of people that you want to be around people that are role models people that are mentors those are the people that you want to be around um, and maybe the person that you don't want to be around is your ex um, it says the time has come to clear your energy so you could be emotionally or gent or energetically needing to release your ex-lover it's really going to benefit you in increasing your happiness um, and making you feel freedom uh, and also the ability to attract a new lover so let go of the past don't keep reliving the past and things maybe you could have done different or they could have done different just clear away the past let go of it and any you know unhealthy attachments that you have of the past and, th and that's gonna clear your aura and then you can go out there and um you know attract somebody else someone that's um more of a mentor someone that um you know they're just they're an inspiration to you and that's that's what you want that's you know that's who you desire you know that passion that you know you have for someone that they inspire you spiritually they inspire you um you know sexually um you know that's what you want and i feel like you could be in the process of you know going through some sort of pain here loss isolation um you know the end of a relationship and you know wondering why you know did they reject you or you know just just not being in a good place and you know they're saying here the guides are saying you know you need cleansing you need to be around people that are role models and people that ignite your passion so that is the message if you pick number three so i hope you like that let me know down in the comments 
um, if that resonated for you. Uh, if not, then check out my playlist. I have a lot of different videos um, to choose from. So thanks again. Don't forget to subscribe and share my video, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.